Monopsony. A monopsonist can set wages and employment below those in a competitive labour market. So, why is this? Graphically, if a single employer controls the market, it will employ quantity QL2, where the marginal cost of labour, MCL, equals the marginal revenue product, MRP. The monopsonist needs to increase the wage rate to attract additional workers into the industry, but the average wage is only W2. Hence the reward to labour is the area W2, E, QL2 and 0. The impact of a union minimum wage. A trade union can set a minimum wage to counteract a monopsonist. The minimum here increases wages from W2 to W and the level of employment from QL2 to QL. It can raise the wage even further to W1, but at the cost of lower employment back to QL2. If it raises the minimum above W1, more jobs will be lost, even compared with the monopsonist.